see here is a problem in this problem we are asked to evaluate the angular momentum matrix as j set j plus and j minus for j equal to 1 by 2 for a given value of j the m can have 2j plus 1 values suppose j equal to 1 by 2 we can get two values the two values are well in between minus j and 2 plus j in steps of unity we know the value of j that is 1 by 2 so automatically one value is plus 1 by 2 and another value is minus 1 by 2 so the value of m is plus of and minus of m dash is also having the two values plus of and minus of then we should think about the dimension of the matrix for the given value of j the dimension of the matrix is 2j plus 1 into 2j plus 1 that means 2j plus 1 rows and 2j plus 1 columns here j equal to 1 by 2 if you put j equal to 1 by 2 here 2 to get cancelled so 1 plus 1 2 2 rows and 2 columns so the dimension of the matrix is 2 by 2 then the way of writing the J is a matrix it is used by this representation J dash M dash the operator J is at J and M here J dash is always equal to J so in all the cases J dash is 1 by 2 J is 1 by 2 the variation is seen only in the values of M dash and M M and M dash are having two values plus of and minus of then the variation in the m dash is represented in column wise but the variation in the value of m is presented in row wise see this this is column wise variation m dash is plus of and another value of m dash is minus of see this m dash is plus of and m dash is minus of but the variation of m is presented in row wise here the value of m is plus of here the value of m is minus of here the value of m is plus of here the value of m is minus of so this is the explicit form of uh, j set for the value of small j equal to 1 by 2 now we should find out the value of j set matrix for that we should take the eigenvalue equation of j set then the eigenvalue equation of j set is j set into psi of j comma m is equal to m h cross into psi of j comma m here m h cross is the eigenvalue the j set operator operates on the wave function and gives eigenvalue mh cross and the same function is arrived. Generally, we can call this one as eigenvalue equation. Then this equation is changed with this form mh cross into del of j comma j dash into del of m comma m dash. These two are called the Kronecker delta. If j equal to j dash, the value of del of j comma j dash is equal to 1. If m is equal to m dash, the value of del of m dash comma m is equal to 1. In our presentation, the value of j is always equal to j dash. So, this value is always unity. But this del m m dash may be unity or may not be unity. May be unity or equal to 0. How do you justify? If m equal to m dash, del of m dash comma m is equal to 1. If m not equal to m dash, then del of m m dash is equal to 0. See, we have to find out the the value, the places at which the value of m equal to m dash. See this place, m dash is 1 by 2, m is 1 by 2. So here m is equal to m dash, m equal to m dash. So the value of del m, m dash is equal to 1. Here m is minus 1 by 2, m dash is 1 by 2. So that here m dash not equal to m. So no element is present. Here the value of element is 0, see 0, but here the element is present. Come to this place, m dash is minus 1 by 2, m is 1 by 2. Here also m not equal to m dash, m not equal to m dash. Therefore, del m m dash is equal to 0, so no element is present. Come to this place, m dash is minus 1 by 2, m is minus 1 by 2. So here, m is equal to m dash. So the value of del m m dash is equal to 1. So only at two places.
ratios we can have the element so the value of the element is m h cross see here if already del of j z is equal to 1 all the cases but only at two places the value of uh, del m m dash is equal to 1 so the value of the element is this is 1 this is 1 m h cross is the value of the element m h cross 0 0 m h cross but actually at this place, the value of m is 1 by 2, first place. So, this m h cross is replaced by 1 by 2 h cross. 0, 0, here one element. See this. In this position, the value of m is minus 1 by 2. So, here, instead of m h cross, you have to put minus 1 by 2 h cross. If you take half h cross outside, you can write 1, 0, 0, minus 1. So this is the value of j set for small j equal to 1 by 2. To find out the matrix value of j plus for j equal to 1 by 2, we have to use this eigenvalue equation of j plus. Here j plus is the raising operator. The value of j plus is jx plus i jy. J plus is operating on the function psi of j comma i m and will provide the eigenvalue h cross into j minus m into j plus m plus 1. This is present inside the root. H cross is present outside the root. H cross into root of j minus m into j plus m plus 1 into the wave function psi of j comma m plus 1. Here this is j dash. This is m dash. The above equation is represented in this Kronecker delta form that is j plus psi of j comma m is equal to h cross into root of j minus m into j plus m plus 1 into del of j comma j dash into del of m dash comma m plus 1. If m dash is equal to m plus 1 then del of m dash comma m plus equal m plus 1 is equal to 1. If m dash not equal to m plus 1, del of m dash comma m plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a skeleton for j plus. Now we should find out where the element is present. See here. Yeah? Our expectation is m dash equal to m plus 1. If m dash is equal to m plus 1, the element is present. But all other places, the element is not present. See here, m dash is 1 by 2, m is 1 by 2, here m equal to m dash, so no element is present. No element. Here, m dash is 1 by 2, m is minus 1 by 2. This condition is satisfied. M dash equal to M plus 1. Here, M dash equal to M plus 1. Because the value of M dash is 1 by 2. But M is minus half. So, minus half plus 1 plus half. So, M dash equal to M plus 1. Therefore, element is present here. All other places, this condition is not satisfied. M dash not equal to M plus 1. Here, the element is 0. Because, m dash is minus 1 by 2, m is 1 by 2, m dash not equal to m plus 1, here m dash not equal to m plus 1, here also m dash not equal to m plus 1, here also m dash not equal to m plus 1, so here only the element is present, all the places the element value is 0, so the j plus is equal to 0 element 0 0 now what should be the value of the element we have to evaluate from this here del of m dash comma m plus 1 is equal to 1 because if m dash equal to m plus 1 this value equal to 1 already j equal to j dash so this value is also 1 then the element value is put j equal to in this part 1 by 2 then m value, m value is minus half, already one minus sign is present, so half minus half minus half, half plus half, 1. 
then j equal to 1 by 2 then m value is minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 0 0 plus 1 1 so the root value is inside the root they have to keep 1 root 1 is 1 so h cross is the value of the element so the value of j plus equal to 0 h cross 0 0 this is the value of j plus if you take h cross outside we can write h cross is 0 1 0 0 that is also correct take h cross outside we can write h cross is 0 1 0 0 that is also the value of j plus that is also correct in this way we are at the value of uh, j plus see to find the value of uh, j minus for j equal to 1 by 2 we have to use this eigenvalue equation eigenvalue of uh, eigenvalue equation of j minus is j minus i with a comma m is equal to h cross in the root of j plus m the j minus m plus 1 in the psi of j comma m minus 1 here it is a lower end operator j minus equal to jx minus i j y so the operator reduces eigenvalue by one unit of h cross so m minus 1 this is h cross into root of j plus m j minus m plus 1 del of j comma j dash del of m dash comma m minus 1 if m dash is equal to m minus 1 del of m dash comma m minus 1 is equal to 1 if m dash not equal to m minus 1 this del of m dash comma m minus 1 is equal to 0 so no eigenvalue is present m dash is equal to 0 but the value of j is always equal to j dash so this value del of j comma j dash is always equal to 1 if m dash equal to m minus 1 then del of m dash comma m minus 1 is equal to 1 but all other cases the value equal to 0 now see this skeleton to find the eigenvalue of j minus we should see the necessary condition m dash is equal to m minus 1 see this part this is m dash this is m here the condition m dash is equal to m minus 1 is satisfied because m dash is minus half m is plus half so half minus 1 is minus half so only at this place the element is present all other places this condition is not satisfied that is m dash is equal to m minus 1 condition is not satisfied in all other cases only at this place the condition m dash is equal to m minus 1 is satisfied so the matrix value of j uh, minus is equal to 0 0 element then 0 then what should be the value of element we have to evaluate so this is h cross into j plus m j minus m plus 1 this is present inside the root j is always 1 by 2 the value of m here is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 1 then j minus m 1 by 2 minus of m 1 by 2 so 0 then plus 1 1 so the value of the element is h cross is equal to 0 0 h cross 0 this is the value of j minus if you take h cross outside we can write this is equal to h cross into 0 0 1 0 this is also correct this is the value of j minus in this way we are at the values of j itself j plus and j minus